the week began with the focus on removing forms from both the wall and the piers poured the week before. Wooden forms can sometimes be quite reluctant to release. Rebar nubs projecting through the top of the column bases have to be trimmed. Whenever possible, wood used in the construction of the forms is recycled and reused. Quite frequently, the quickest way to move a component across the site is to simply walk it. Marking up the location for new forms is an essential first step. This may give a feel for how firmly forms must be placed to pour concrete. Assembling the various pieces is just another element of forming up. It's not at all uncommon to have to clean a little concrete residue from forms that are being reused. Tuesday saw attention turn to removing the forms from the east wall. Once again, a little persuasion can be necessary to release reluctant parts. Successful recycling depends heavily on accurately measuring up the components involved. Tuesday held one significant and pleasant surprise. The arrival of a crane for steel erection. Overnight snow made for a messy start to Wednesday. But tarps used for curing were coming off regardless. Much of the day was also devoted to digging new bases for fresh piers.
The importance of achieving the correct levels is never overlooked. Work to form up new pillars went ahead, right alongside. Despite the cold and damp conditions, the wall forms kept coming off. Creature comforts can never be overlooked, and the water tank for the restrooms on site were topped up, and the portable toilet moved. With the arrival of the crane on Tuesday, it was less of a surprise to see more equipment arrive on Wednesday. This must clearly be related to the imminent arrival of steel. keen anticipation to see what Thursday might bring. And Thursday was in no way a disappointment. Four trailers delivered trusses and columns, all accompanied by a company trailer. The crane was quickly checked out and unloading began. It will be interesting to watch the jigsaw assembled with these buckets of bolts. One after another, the trucks drove in, backed down and were unloaded. It's important to get everybody on the same sheet of paper before any major move begins. These are pretty substantial loads. Back on the east wall, Work continued to remove the forms. It'll come as no surprise to learn that there were one or two stubborn ones. But none get left in place. A good day became even better when concrete was poured. A great day came to a close with everyone wondering, would we see steel erected on Friday? Friday produced the coldest temperatures of the week, and work was largely focused on preparing for the week ahead. There was a clear emphasis on backfilling remaining piers and pillars, and generally on tidying up after a busy couple of days. This included removing all the items used during the curing of concrete. The T-1 
team engaged in form work continued to be busy, planning, preparing and working. Many forms had to be relocated in preparation for the next task. Recycling and reusing components is always a priority. On days like this, there are always many vehicles on the move. Forecast of heavy snow saw the day become darker and darker as time went by. Gravel deliveries by Drake's Landscaping hardly had time to hit the ground before the front loader was pouring and the skid steer was distributing. In a skillful, methodical fashion, one pier base after another was addressed. This is an example of practiced teamwork at its finest. Naturally every section of gravel has to be properly compacted. In the week ahead we can probably expect to see the crane active and perhaps more steel arrive. Be sure and join me for next week's update and thanks for watching.